Hi, my name is Emmanuel Viamkama. I am the Extension Plant Pathologist at South Dakota State University. Today we'll be talking about uh, plant stand establishment in soybeans. It is important that growers establish plant stand and so that they can diagnose some of the problems that may be causing a reduced plant stand. Now plant stand is really important uh, determinant of yield. A number of factors can affect um, plant stand and those include um, soil compaction, low oxygen in the soil due to circulation with water, it could also be because of a faulty planter. And the other common problem can be because of seedling diseases. And the term that is used for seedling diseases is dumping off. Dumping off is caused by a number of pathogens, and these include Pythium, uh, Phytophthora, Fusarium, and Rhizoctonia. Uh, these four pathogens require different conditions uh, for them to infect the soybeans. And so that's why it's really important that uh, if a farmer is suspecting a disease problem, he sends the samples to the plant diagnostic clinic at South Dakota State University so that he can establish what exactly is causing uh, stand reduction. So Pythium uh, likes uh, wet and cold uh, soil temperatures and these conditions happened this spring. So this spring was a perfect setup for Pythium infection to happen. For Pythium, infection normally happens from right when the seed is planted up until uh, V2 growth stage. Uh, Phytophthora also likes moisture, but a little bit of warmer temperatures. For Phytophthora, infection can happen anytime throughout the whole growing season of soybean. Uh, for Fusarium and Rhizoctonia, uh, these do not require a lot of moisture for infection to happen, but they also are favored by different temperatures. So it's really important that the grower uh, establishes the cause of damping off, the cause of sun reduction, so that uh, next uh, growing season management decisions can be made. Now, damping off can be of two forms. Pre-emergence damping off is where the seed or the seedling gets infected before it comes out of the ground. Post-emergence damping off is where seedlings emerge from the ground and get infected by the fungi that cause damping off. When a grower is scouting for stand establishment, it's important that uh, crow's uh, attention is paid to wet spots and low-lying points within the field because these would be the areas that have high moisture and if uh, Pythium is a problem in, in this field, this would be a hot spot for Pythium infection. So again, it's, uh, the grower should dig out some plants and examine the roots. If there's any ro rotting or um, wounds on the cotyledons, those are, are symptoms for uh, infection by Pythium. So in here, we're showing the different levels of uh, damping off. We see here the seed has been infected and so it didn't um, emerge. In the next stage, we see uh, still a pre-emergence dumping off where the seedlings never uh, uh, came out. And then we see here a post-emergence dumping off. Uh, the roots are not developed. And this is also another stage where infection ha happened a little later during germination. And this we contrast it with a healthy plant that shows extensive root growth. And we already have uh, three leaves uh, growing when you compare it with um, these plants are infected, um, they are still uh, behind in the growth. Previously, we saw a soybean field that had high incidence of damping off, and we would like to contrast it with another field here that has similar conditions, but has better germination. Some of the reasons why this field has better germination could be because this field is planted much later. The other field has soybean that's already at V3, while this field is just at VC, which is emergence. And the other reason also is that this field, we noticed that the seed here was treated, and probably a fungicide was part of the seed treatment. 
So one of the ways to manage damping off is to delay planting, especially for wet areas like this portion of the field. And if you have a history of damping off, then seed treatment can also help in limiting damping off problem. So we'll dig a few plants here and see if they also have uh, roots that are rotted, uh, uh, which is a good indicator of damping off. So even with uh, seed treatment, we may still have a few cases of damping off, but they will be much less. And in the case of no seed treatment, then you really have a high instance of damping off. So how do we manage uh, damping off? How do we manage uh, seedling diseases? There are a number of ways that growers um, can help to improve plant stand. Sometimes because of poor seed, uh, we can have reduced plant stand. So a grower should make sure that he has clean, uh, high quality seed so that he has a good start of the plant establishment. The other method of uh, addressing this problem of seedling diseases is proper drainage. A grower should use proper cultivation methods that improve drainage so that uh, there's not a high moisture in the soil that can cause epithelium infection. Things like chisel plowing or ridges within the field, especially if the field has a history of plant diseases. Soils that are saturated with moisture uh, provide a good environment for pathogen infection. Another method that uh, growers can use is time of planting. A planting in cold and wet soils in spring uh, can promote infection, especially by pythium. So if your field has a history of seedling diseases, uh, delayed planting when the soils are a, a little warm and also when the moisture is not too high, can also reduce the problem of seedling diseases. Uh, another method that is commonly used and is pretty effective on reducing seedling diseases is a seed treatment. Fungicides are known to provide uh, protection for the seedling, especially where this field has a history of seedling diseases. Another reason why uh, scouting and testing of plants that have seedling diseases is important is because some fungicides can work for some pathogens and not for other pathogens. Therefore, it's really important that you know what the problem is and so you can apply appropriate fungicide to control the pathogen. For example, metaraxyl, which is very good on um, Pythium and Phytophthora, may not be good for other pathogens like Rhizoctonia and Fusarium. So again, it's important for us to establish uh, the cause of stand reduction and so that uh, for the next growing season, a uh, grower can make informed decisions as to what management uh, practices he can use to improve a plant stand. Plant establishment and plant stand is an important component of yield and so anything that is going to affect plant stand significantly is going to affect yield.